Our main findings should be of concern to all Albertans. We found that without bold change, Albertans face a future of rising deficits and debt with more and more tax dollars going to interests rather than programs. Delay will only worsen the problem. Closing the spending gap requires moving more service delivery from hospitals to community-based facilities, more fully utilizing the skills of healthcare professionals beyond doctors and registered nurses, and changing the way doctors are paid and the amount they receive. In advanced education, which represents 11% of the budget, Alberta spends significantly more per student than comparable provinces, even though its participation rates are lower. We learned that ordinary people are going to pay more, uh, while the richest among us benefit from massive tax uh, uh, giveaways that were given to them by Jason Kenney. The other thing we learned this morning is that Jason Kenney lied. Uh, he said that he was going to maintain or increase uh, uh, funding to health care and education, and those things aren't true. Uh, to put it simply, Albertans cannot afford to be losing out on thousands of dollars every single year to the bond fund managers on Bay Street. Now, Albertans are counting on our new government to right past government wrongs, to get the spending problem under control, and to immediately stop overcharging taxpayers. And that all has to start in the upcoming budget. And uh, you know what? This isn't rocket science. If BC and Ontario can figure out a way to provide quality services for significantly less money, then why can't Alberta?